Oh, and these Tennessee soldiers being honored. Sergeant Mitchell W. Stout died in Vietnam, giving his life to save his fellow soldiers. Kristen Allen has that story for us. We owe everything to these veterans. Memorial Day, a time we remember those who made the ultimate sacrifice for our country's freedom. Marine veterans and the young Marines of Greater Knoxville hosting this ceremony Monday in honor of U.S. Army Sergeant Mitchell W. Stout. Stout died in Vietnam on March 12th of 1970, shielding his fellow soldiers from a grenade blast. Sergeant Stout was, he grabbed a grenade and uh, ran out of a bunker and before he made it out of that bunker he the hand grenade uh, exploded and he saved many, many lives that day. It's stories of bravery like this that are inspiring future Marines like Jesse Winger and Brennan Guffey. I am 15. I'm 11. Both boys are part of the Young Marines, an official youth program of the Marine Corps that works to show young people what military service is all about. We haven't gave our full debt back to the people that served in our military. And I feel like going into the military could help Young Marines learn from veterans not only values like leadership and teamwork, but also stories of sacrifice like Sergeant Stout's. Marine veteran Keith Kriegel says it's important to keep sharing these stories and investing in future service members. You have people coming up and thanking, thanking us for our service. We're thanking them. This is our future. If we don't put in the time into our community and into our future of our kids, we may not. What's going to happen? So this Memorial Day, and every day, we remember Sergeant Stout and so many others who gave it all for our country's freedom. Freedom's not free. This is the ultimate sacrifice, just like Sergeant Stout and many other people before us. Uh, if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be here. In Farragut, Kristen Allen, WVLT News. Held onto the grenade and saved a bunch of other lives. Stout was awarded the Medal of Honor after his death in 1974. A monument in his memory stands at Virtue Cemetery in Farragut.